My name is Yair, and today we are going to talk about two-step change management with RRT.10. In the era of automation and speed, we still need to make sure that a policy is always intact and there are no holes in it. This is why we introduced a new working model with RRT.10. When a user makes a change, the changes are automatically saved on the security management server. As we know, the GUI client is stateless, in a sense that it does not temporarily hold any data. Great. So the first step is the automatic save action. If you suddenly logged off from your Wi-Fi network, all your changes will be available on your next login. Not only that, but if you moved from one computer to another and still logged in with the same account, all of your changes will be available. However, please note they will not be in the next policy installation. In addition, no one else will see them. This is where we add the second step. The publish operation. When you publish your changes, you make them public information. They are now available for everyone else to see. And so the next policy installation will pick them and install the changes on the gateway. This two-step change mechanism gives you confidence with your security policies. Installed policy can now become a, an afterthought, an automatic job, because every administrator can control what gets installed and when. This brings our session to an end. We hope you enjoyed the two-step management feature in the Checkpoint r Smart Console. Join the conversation, connect, and share with Checkpoint experts and the entire community at community.checkpoint.com. Thank you.